Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mitchell PJ. Today's date is December 2nd, 2016. Our word for discussion is guest chamber. In 1 Samuel 9.22, And Samuel took Saul and his servant and brought them into the parlor and made them sit in the chiefest place among them that were bidden, which were about 30 persons. In Matthew 23, 6, the love, the uppermost rooms at peace, and the chief seats in the synagogues. In Mark 14, 14, And wheresoever he shall go in, say ye to the good men of the house, the master said, Where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? Luke 2, 7, and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and lied him in a manger because there was no room in the inn. In Acts 1.13, And when they were come in, they went up into the upper room where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon Zelotes and Judas, the brother of James. Define, this is the spare room, or the, on the upper floor, of an eastern dwelling, a room in which to eat, of the house where entertainment was prepared. Samuel ended up entertaining Saul before he became king of Israel. During the chief feasts in the synagogues, the affluent would sit in the best seats in the uppermost rooms. Jesus went. He was born, was placed in a manger because there was no room at the inn. Before he died, Jesus wanted to celebrate his last Passover meal with them in the guest chamber. The apostles and disciples remained in the upper room until the Holy Spirit came as promised. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.